Hi, my name's Isaac, and boy, it sure is spooky outside, which I guess ties in nicely because this is probably going to come out around Halloween. And I can't think of anything spookier than me wearing Shrek-themed Crocs right now while I try to put a mod on my pickup truck for this video. Now your first question for this video, and most obvious one, would probably be, What's in the box? And if you guessed a human head, Absolutely not, you psychopath. What is wrong with you? Why would you guess that? It's actually my brand new mod, the ultimate mod for the truck. Finally, I have ordered color-matched bumper shells for this truck, and I'm going to put them on for you guys in this video. That means today is the last day with the chrome bumpers. Before we start, I do just want to say that this is going to be the worst tutorial video of all time because I had to watch a tutorial to do this. So I'm pretty much just relaying the information from that tutorial video to you guys. I still am one step above people that react to movie trailers on YouTube though because at least I'm doing something in this video. So firstly, you're going to need some tools for this. I got some glass and surface cleaner uh, just to wash this down, make sure it's all clean. Got a couple rags, and then I also got two flathead screwdrivers. Well, I'll show you that in a minute. You have to take a couple clips off underneath here, uh, so I'll show you how to do that in a second. So I'm just gonna clean this off really quick, and so we have kind of a perfect, Ooh, nice squeaky sound. We're doing this all in real time. We'll do it live, and uh, so. Clean this off really good. You want to get a really nice texture. This is an awful rag to choose because everything's falling apart onto the bumper. It's not good. So we'll do this one. Okay, this one's just as bad. Why why am I doing this to myself? I should have probably practiced before doing the video. That would make sense to some degree. So I've already removed one of the little uh, things down here. So Basically, you have one, two, three, and then there's four right there that you have to remove, and then that's going to allow us to pull this up a little bit so we can fit the bumper shell on top of it. So if you take a little, let's go for this one here, take a little flathead screwdriver and you kind of dig into that a little bit. All right, I got it. I just cracked this little top part. And then this mine, see, ah, there it goes. All right, so just need to do that two more times to pop those out. Oof, and then uh, we can get to the bumper shelling. All right, all four of these guys are moved, so we can lift this up and kind of pry this up a little bit. I want to pop these guys off, but then this gives us a little bit more to kind of set the bumper shell replacement on here. We're going to do a test fit first to see how it looks. All right, I test fit it on here. Uh, I have not taken the sticky adhesive tape off. I mean, I could probably go without the sticky adhesive tape. It's really on there. Like, it's really tight on there. But uh, I think we'll do it that way. It looks really nice. Really good to give you a comparison. Ah, the chrome. I don't like the chrome. That's why we're doing this. Don't like the chrome. And I think that this gives it a much more flush and modern look. Uh, I'll link the website to bumper shells uh, in the description. They do not pay me. I'm not sponsored by this. Um, in fact, when I went to their website, the, I, I, they were out of stock on these. And I emailed them. And he was like, oh, I got one pair left. And he was, he was a real awesome dude. And uh, he made them available so I could get them. So I'm sure by Christmas th there'll be a huge rush for this. So... Um, yeah, these, these are awesome. So if you have a Tacoma, definitely, definitely worth it. But uh, let me do the rest of the work here. I'm going to take off this bumper shell, uh, unsticky the tape. We'll put that back on, then we'll do the other one. shell number one that is on there and good we're just gonna take these four clamp them back into place this is not gonna go anywhere so 
So I recommend if you're gonna do this, take a little screwdriver. Oh boy, can't. If they're popping, that center piece out, so these are thinner, they're not so bunched up. Then you're putting them back on. Oh wait. I don't know, I'm wrong. This is, this is entertainment, everybody. Oh yeah. That's on there. Nice. Then center. Line it up with the hole. One on man, that looks gorgeous. I love the cement gray color. The Toyotas have, in my opinion, the best color options for their trucks. Um, I really just I love cement. Um, if you saw my last video, I did uh, the quicksand Tacoma, the 2020, love that color too. And you have uh, you have voodoo blue. Uh, and then you have Patriot, or is, what is it, Patriot Blue, something like that. You have another blue. Uh, should probably pay attention to, oh, I'm doing this here so I don't break anything. But if I break anything, that's entertaining for you guys, I guess. All right. Uh. So, I just really love the, the color schemes, the color options. And then we have this new Army Green for the 2020 TRD Pro. I kind of wish that they would bring that to all the 2020s, whether it's a TRD or a SR or a Limited. I don't know if the, lim the Limited might get that army green. I think it does definitely look best on the TRD Pro. But um, I think it's, look at this, I'm a whiz at this now. This is nuts how quick I'm getting through this. All right, so clean, 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 clean. All right, so. Yeah, I just think Toyota makes the best colors. And it's funny because I thought I had this greatly unique color. And then about a month after I got my truck, I had a, a, a close friend, uh, which I'll be reviewing this at some point. He got a uh, Dodge Charger Scat Pack, and he got it in the Destroyer Gray, which is it's a little bit darker cement than this. Because I'm like, ah, I have this great, unique color. And he got that, and then right after that, my boss at work got a, a 2018 or a 2019 Jeep Wrangler in the matte gray like this. And then I know somebody else who got a Civic in a matte gray like this. So this is like, um, cement gray is like the awful forest green and old people beige gold of the early 2000s. Uh, vehicle wise I guess because this is like the new hip thing and in 20 years our, our kids will look back and go Ugh, gross why did you buy that why was that a thing I feel like this color really stands out it's very unique though I like this so gotta get the second bumper shell out of here Done it. Ow! At risk of breaking my thumb. Ugh. We've done it. Ow, Yikos. Woo! Took a lot of force. We did it. Bumper shells on. Alright, let's do a little backup. See how this looks. Wow. That is like worlds. Better. Truly, the 
Thanks for, thank you Enterprise Truck for ruining my shot. I appreciate that. No, no, please continue. No, go ahead. Makes the truck look a whole heck of a lot better. Wow. See, this is what I've been waiting for. I just did not like those chrome bumpers. Just to give the truck like a, like a profile. I just think that flows so much better. And that's the higher trims have that. And so it's just so cool to see it on mine now. Ah, uh, I am happy. This was the last big mod that I wanted to do to my truck. I do eventually want to add, maybe, 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 we'll see a lot of video if I do, a light bar right in here. Um, because I don't, I don't need one though. Definitely be completely impractical because I don't need one. I live in the city. So I, I do definitely at some point want to get LED lights in here because I have everything else is LED except the tail lights, but the tail lights I don't really care about. They're very bright. The interior dome lights like I did in the video, the rear lights, that's all LEDs. So I want to get these LEDs, but they're quite expensive and I am quite not wealthy. So yeah, man, that looks, that looks good. Thank you for tuning into this dumpster fire of a video. Um, I'd like if you liked uh, and subscribed and commented, uh, whatever, you know, do your thing. Thanks for humoring me this far. If anyone's come this far, uh, I don't know if anyone will want to venture uh, to the end of this video. But uh, appreciate it. Appreciate your guys' support and uh, watching my videos. I didn't think my there's a distinct possibility my original Tacoma video can get up to a hundred thousand. It's like at eighty two or eighty three thousand right now. It's, it's mind boggling. If it ever gets to a hundred thousand, I'm it's good. I, I'll quit YouTube, or maybe I won't. Maybe I should venture for a higher goal than that. But I don't have anything else. Uh, See you guys next week.